Go. Hi, Marie. Okay, so the first thing you're wanting to do is you need to measure the ear. So we're going to measure the ear. This way. And so Merlin's ear is about seven inches long. So I need to do a piece at least twice, plus a little more than that, so at least an inch and a half more than that. So you need a piece, so for Merlin, that would be 14 inches plus another inch or two. Probably more two. Probably two. So he would have needed a piece about 15 inches, or 16 inches would probably have been perfect. I've already cut this one at 15, <laughs> <laughs> so 16 would have been a little better. So Merlin, hold still. So wait, this is the fold right here that you want to watch for and not catch. And yours is sitting up real high right now like this. So you're going to bend it down and flatten it out. So you want to catch it across like that. See how I bent it to make it flat. So now that's flat right there. I didn't and massage it on there. Yeah, so you're going to yeah, work this stuff on. The adhesive onto the ear. And then when you get to the end of the ear, not catching the ear, see the ear is back here, I'm bending it, and then I'm bringing it back up. On. <laughs> <laughs> this is where you need help with two hands. <laughs> and, yeah, even for Merlin, two would be better. Bring it back on the inside of the ear. Merlin, hold. Settle. Okay, so now, see how it's... As we, I talked Settle. to you about it before. You don't want to get into the inner part of his ear, so you want to be up above that ear. So you want to have this on here, just kind of use your hands to make it massage. Yeah, so it kind of heats up and adheres. So now you can see how it's already starting to weigh his ears down. Then you're going to run tape up above it, sticky tape, this is paper tape because I want to take it off, and all the way down and then around and on the other side. So you're going to do this, have them all lined up like that. Keep going above the top of his head so you're catching a little higher up there. Going down, coming back around. This is about a one inch tape, so two inch tape would be best. Yeah, you can even use three. Then, after you've covered the whole ear all the way across, then run some Merlin push. Merlin, settle. Merlin's never had his ears taped, so this is first. <laughs> okay. Then you're going to be running them this way. So you want to run them across, and this way. So would you go all the way across down? Yes, yeah, so they're going all the way across and underneath. So, so you would take go these strips all the way down and go all the way to this end, right? Correct, all the way across so it's solid, and then do a few this way. Going down about three or four down. Correct. Depending on the length of yeah, the Yeah, and what's going to hold it is right here. Now with him, it's actually a little lower down than it should have. We kind of slipped. It should have started a little higher up. But this is the fold you're watching for is right here. So that's where it really where that this should have been. Yeah, and remember that your dog looks like this, and this is the bell we're trying to, so you're going to grab it with your hand and bend it down like that before you start taping. Two people will make it way easier, but see how his ear would be totally flat there? Mm -hmm. So if you have two people versus your dog is looking like this. Right. So bend it out. Get it flat. Okay? Okay.